You know, 100,000 uh, people in America have sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic uh, mutation of the red blood cell. Normally the red blood cell is kind of round, discus shape. In sickle cell anemia, uh, this round has been replaced by a sickle shape. This sickle shaped red blood cell doesn't carry oxygen. This sickle shaped red blood cell doesn't bounce off of stuff like other red blood cells. It gets tangled up and clogs up stuff. And that's the big problem with sickle cell is that these sickled cells get clumped up and block uh, blood flow downward. So anything downward of this sickle cell clump in a vessel, in a blood vessel, uh, becomes hypoxic. Very painful. About 90 to 95% of the people with sickle cell are African American. Uh, the rest uh, would be Asian, uh, Mediterranean. Now, if someone is having a sickle cell emergency, the number one complaint is pain. And I'm talking excruciating pain. When these vessels get blocked up and closed because of that sickle cell clump, everything distal is hypoxic and is excruciatingly painful. Here's the problem. 95% are black people. Some studies suggest that black people don't get the good stuff. They're 30% less likely to receive opioids than a white person uh, complaining of pain. Now then, they actually came out with some advertising about remembering how painful uh, sickle cell is and to administer the appropriate pain medications. Almost shameful. Now treatment for it is going to be uh, analgesics and fluids. We want to try to tank up the patient a little bit with intravascular fluid and hopefully we can move some of those sickle cells around a little bit and disrupt the blockage. The normal lifespan of a healthy red blood cell is about 120 days. Sickle cells fortunately only live about 10 days so they're very short-lived they don't last long uh, so the crisis isn't going to go on for weeks and weeks but uh, it has to be uh, treated with fluid management and heavy-duty analgesics, opioids, the good stuff. In America, the FDA cleared the first CRISPR therapy, gene splicing therapy, as a curative treatment for sickle cell in America. Excited about it, um, but now we can use this gene splicing therapy to actually cure sickle cell. And uh, the science is beyond me, but reading it was fascinating. They couldn't turn the sickle cells off, but they could turn on another uh, gene that actually manufactured healthy cells, but that gets turned off at birth. Fascinating reading. It's included here. Uh, please read it. But yay for the uh, FDA for approving this life-changing uh, science and this therapy. I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.